So, where y'all been? Oh, I know. I'm the one who's been AWOL for a month. Missed y'all. But I'm back now. It was just a crazy few weeks. Kept me away from doing... Doing content. Um, like, I even tried doing some on-site at my favorite river spots. But every time I went, there was some issue. Like, they had taken all the picnic tables out. So I had nowhere to set up. Or... They were mowing or, you know, stuff that just didn't allow for good content creation. And it's been busy here at my house right now. Um, a dear friend of ours has moved in with us. Um, he was in need of a place to stay. And we had an extra room, so we set it up so that he could move in. And uh, we're thrilled about that, but still it was... Uh, uh, getting used to having another person in the house again uh, took a little, a little bit of um, learning curve, and I'm sure it was the same for him. Um, and yeah, it was just it was a very full couple of weeks. I've been interviewing for a new job, and um, it's looking really good. So all of you out there who do the positive thoughts or the prayers or whatever, um, cast spells, whatever you do, um, I really want this job, and uh, it, it's looking good, so uh, send out the powerful thoughts. So, this is actually not just a um, hi, I'm back, it is a bit of a confession time. I have to confess, and I was going to make up a... Um, Oh, what's it called? Um, it, it's when you go to confession in the Catholic Church, this is prayer you say before going in. And I was going to modify it, but then I thought that might, that could possibly offend some people. So um, I decided to just not do that. But um, yeah, read what you own. Um, I was doing a hundred books and I made it to 24. Five, I think it is 26 maybe and I fell off the wagon but I looked at it and said had I been a little more reasonable about oh bless you Toby you okay okay um, about my reading habits and my abilities I would have set a more reasonable goal goal um, but I did go six months, six solid months without buying a book. And, um, well, then what happened is I um, started going through my brother-in-law's books. Um, some of you who have been around for a while will remember that my brother-in-law died shortly after I started doing YouTube. And um, he lived here with us. And uh, we just never went through his stuff. But with our friend moving in to that room, we had to clear out Kenny's stuff. And oh, most of it was books. It was just a ton of books. And um, I came across some series that I am definitely excited about getting into. And the part that's kind of melancholy about that is my brother-in-law was trying to get me to read these three series all the time he was living with us and I just kept brushing it off because I didn't think um, it was the type of sci-fi I would enjoy until I started looking, actually looking at the books this past couple of weeks and um, well, let's just say that they these three series sound really good. One of them is by Peter F. Hamilton and uh, that one was the cause of me falling off the wagon because my brother-in-law had books two and three of this particular trilogy. He didn't have book one. And I was looking forward to starting it shortly. So I had to have book one. And I went ahead and I bought book one. Uh, there's also a series by Ben Bova called The Grand Tour, which is a big time space opera. It's like 24 books in, in the series. 
And I'm looking forward to diving into that. And then the SM Sterling wrote one um, about, it's an alternate, alternate, what do they call it? Alternate history or whatever. Uh, or maybe it's futuristic. I'm not sure. But it's um, basically there's been a war and things are completely different than they are now. And um, it's set, the, the, it's like the base of it is Nantucket Island off the coast of Massachusetts, which is, you know, the area I'm from. And um, these three series I'm really looking forward to. Uh, so that's what, what made me fall off the wagon. And because I had fallen off the wagon, I went ahead and bought some more books anyway. Um, so that's done with for this year. Read what you own challenge for me. It's done for. Um, next time around, I'll be a little more reasonable about what my capabilities are. Because I am a slow reader. I didn't used to be. I used to be able to fly through a book like crazy. Uh, the older I get, the slower it gets. And I think it's a good thing. Because I find myself just absorbing more of the book as I read than I did when I was a flash reader. Um, so, that's that confession. The other one is Horror Mayhem. Yes, I'm doing Horror Mayhem, like I said. But because I'm a slow reader and I wanted to be sure I got all four bo books in, I started early. I started in April instead of May. The last week of April. Um, so... To the creators of Horror Mayhem and all the hosts, my apologies. But I did it. And I'm still, I'm on book three now of the Horror Mayhem. And uh, i got one more to go. And I'm sure I'll get them all in before the end of May. And then just in time for a group read with another Bibliophile Reads and Big Hard Books and Classics. And a whole list of other people. We're going to be reading Ulysses. Yeah. Um, breaking it up over a couple of months so it's not too heavy, I guess. Um, and still allows for the reading of other books, which is good. Um, it's a book I've always been curious about. And uh, other works of James Joyce. James Joyce? Is that who it is? I think it is James Joyce. Um... Portrait of an Artist as a Young Man, and uh, a couple of others I've always been curious about and just never read them because you hear about how heavy these books are and how deep and how difficult to read. And But um, Greg and Alan are adamant that they are worth the effort and um, they're not as difficult as many people make them out to be. So we're going to find out. Uh, also, this weekend, I am starting a buddy read with my friend Floss at the Grape Jelly Library. We are doing a buddy read on one of my Horror Mayhem books. And it's also a book where, you know, I, I those of you who've been around know that I do. I've seen the movie. I've never read the book. Well, this is one where I've seen the movie and I've never read the book. So I'm able to check off several boxes here. It's a buddy read. It's a book that based a movie I see, saw was based on. And what was the other one? There was another one in there. Um, I don't know. There was something else in there that it clicked. Oh, Horror Mayhem. Yeah. So and we're doing The Turn of the Screw by Henry James. And uh, I started it last night at work. And it is beautifully written. I love the voice of it. And uh, it's a short book, so we ought to be able to fly right through it rather quickly. Um, so there's that. What else have I got? Anything else do I have? Um, so the Yorkies are here. Well, you see Toby there. And, of course, I've got Deadly. She's going to the groomer soon, so you'll be able to see her eyes after she goes to the groomers. Guys, right now, she's just the ragamuffin and uh trappus is down there on the floor tardis is over there i don't know where toffee went i think she must be with my wife um 
And is there anything else? Did I mention, yeah, I think the melancholy... Did I mention I, I started to, did I follow through? Um, yeah, anyway, my brother-in-law on those three series was trying to get me to read them. Uh, and I mentioned to my wife, you know, now that I'm excited about reading them, if I enjoy them as much as he did, the sad part is he's no longer around to talk about them with and to share with them with. Um, so that's a little melancholy. But I think I'll still enjoy the books. And I guess that's it for my return video. It's a short one. Um, oops, I hit my tripod there. Oh, look at all my books stacked up. Ah, what a mess. Um, that's not all my books. Oh, that's another thing. Yes, we've had a bunch of books boxed up for the longest time. And we finally found a way to get them out of the boxes and up onto sort of shelves. And once I get that room organized, it's basically a junk room right now, but I'm turning it into a reading room. And uh, once I get that organized, I will do a video on my bookshelves and what's on them, because there's a lot of treasures there. And uh, I'm kind of excited about that. And uh, at that point, I think I am going to say Dally Ho. Um, talk to you again soon. I promise it will be soon. I was going crazy not doing content. And it's nice to be able to just sit down and do it. Um, so, more stuff coming up. I'll be reporting back on Ulysses as it happens. And um, talk about the books in Horror and Mayhem that, as that runs, winds up. And stuff that, that I've just got coming up on my own. And we'll talk to you again soon. Glad to be back. Talk to you again later. Bye.